Welcome to the TalkSport Cricket YouTube channel. I'm delighted to be here on Derbyshire's Media Day. I'm here with Derbyshire legend Wayne Madsen. Wayne, firstly, how are you? It's been a busy start to the year for you. You spent six weeks in South Africa playing for the Joburg Super Kings, and you also spent some time with the Italian national team where you hit two centuries. Are you excited for the new season with Derbyshire? Hey Luke, yeah, I mean, um, obviously, as you say, it's been a busy, busy start to, to the year for me. Um, a lot of cricket outside in, in, uh, in warmer climates. Um, and now back in, um, obviously, with, uh, with the Derbyshire team and really excited to get going here. Um, yeah, we've, uh, we've made some, some really good, uh, good signings over the, over the winter, a lot of new faces around, and a lot of them have, uh, have a, a great deal of experience as well. So I think um, uh, from an optimism point of view, we're really excited about uh, what lies ahead for us. Talking of signings, we, the, the news broke yesterday that the Mohammed Amir will not be joining to the start of the season. Mm. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, obviously disappointing for us as a team, but really, um, really happy for him. He's, uh, he's an exceptional bowler and uh, I think um, justifiably is going to be playing at the World Cup. Um, so, yeah, it's disappointing for us as a team because of the, the value that he would add um, uh, and, and especially especially for our group of players, what, what we're looking for in an overseas player. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, it will then uh, open up an opportunity for someone else in the, in the first few games. And, um, and, and obviously Mickey's, Mickey's on to uh, finding a replacement as well. So um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it, it's disappointing because he's got the experience and, and obviously the, the skill and ability to, to really have a huge impact. Um, but yeah, we, get, we still will see him uh, at some stage through the season. So um, looking forward to having him a bit later. Perfect. Um, and for you, this will be your 15th season for Derbyshire, I believe. You made your debut in 2009. That's right. So that's 15 years, if my maths is correct. <laughs> for you, yeah. have you seen much change in cricket over those 15 years? So, like, you see the, you've seen the rise of, like, f uh, franchise cricket and stuff like that. Yep. Um, have you seen, like, many positive and maybe some negative changes to cricket over those years? I think, um, obviously, from a, from a positive point of view, the commercial side of things and... Um, the career element from from a playing perspective is is obviously much improved um, over the over the last sort of fifteen years. Um, the game has changed in terms of how um, uh, how much more attacking it is because of the the, the nature of of twenty twenty, and that's that's obviously been seen in, in Test cricket as well. And I think it has had a for me, it's it it's yes, it's had some positive impacts on on it, um, but but also um, in in terms of Test cricket and how twenty twenty has evolved. Yeah, they, they've they've been uh, they've they've also been some downsides to to the test game, but you you're going to naturally have that when you when you're trying to progress and 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 take the game as a whole forward. Um, one of the one of the things for me that that has has changed massively in my time, um, is is the emergence of of obviously the women's game as well, because that that really has taken off um, in the last fifteen years, and and now the opportunities for boys and girls uh, at a young age and going through are, are pretty pretty similar, pretty equal. Do you think franchise cricket can have effects on the county game? Do you think the rewards that the players that they get from playing in franchise cricket can sometimes distract them a bit from the county game? Is that the right word would you say? Yeah, I think I think obviously with the number of of franchise tournaments that there are around the world and opportunities, it it obviously takes away from the county game uh, to a degree. But equally, the county game still ha still has a huge impact and helps franchise yeah. the franchise tournaments that are starting up. I think. Um, I think Moan Ali said it the other day about how important it is playing red ball cricket and to get a, to have, especially from a, uh, certainly from a batting point of view, is to have some sort of a, a, a base defensively to be able to work your game around. Um, and I think that's what county cricket can certainly, and championship cricket can, uh, can certainly uh, do for the, the franchise game. In an article written by the cricketer, like for the start of the England-India series, I'm not sure if you was aware of it, um, they said that it was unfair for the young spinners of Tom Hartley, Bashir and Rian Ahmed to carry the can of a domestic league that doesn't work. Do you agree with those comments? Oh, um, yeah, I mean, that's, I, I've, I mean, I've, I've, having, been, having been involved in the county game for 15 years, yeah. I think it's a great, uh, great place for, for players to learn their trade mm -hmm. um, and, and progress through to international cricket. It's a, it's a, bre it's a, it's a great breeding ground um, for international cricketers. You look at the quality of the players that are, are still being churned out. And yes, there's always times where if there's a bad Ashes or there's a bad World Cup, the, the media and, and does, people start criticising yeah. it. But what, what do you think that is? That the, the county cricket does get the, you know, 
the blame straight away for if something goes wrong in a test match? Um, well, there's always you're always trying to improve and, and find ways to to better um, produce international cricketers, and it's the job of the media and and um, the pundits to um, to push that. Mm-hmm. And so it's 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 looking at different different ways. And, and reasons as to why, mm-hmm. and that is one of the ones that is often sort of hounded uh, when when there's when the team hasn't done well. But when the team does well, it's it's often not. Mm-hmm. It doesn't get as much praise as as it probably should, mm-hmm. um, because yeah, obviously on the back of of sort of winning World Cups and being T20 and and 50 over World Cup ch- champions, um, there's obviously something that's been done right over the over the last 15, 20 years to 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 produce. Um, to produce that, so I think there's there's also room for for a lot of praise for the county game and and, and what it does. There's going to be it, it's going to come. Uh, there's going to be times where it's criticised, and that's that's just the the, um, the sort of the natural nature of um, of of how things are going to happen when your team's doing well and when your team yeah. aren't doing so. It's well. in any sports, isn't it? Really, it's going to it's yeah. going to be that. Like um, in any sport. I mentioned at the start, you you played for the Joburg Super Kings. How, how was that experience for you being yeah. in South Africa as well as a South African? Well, Italian as well. We'll get onto <laughs> that. We'll get onto that as well in a bit. But how, I mean, how was it? Yeah, it was a it it really was a special um, a special time to go back out to South Africa to play uh, to play in a competition uh, like that. The 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 SA twenty was a fantastic competition the crowds were amazing um we were we were really looked after well as uh, um, as players um and the whole buzz around it the standard of the cricket was was outstanding uh, it, it it for me it was a it, it was a brilliant tournament to be a part of and i uh, thoroughly enjoyed the six weeks uh, the hot topic at the moment is the new franchise league in America, the Major League Cricket. Would that be something that would interest you down the line, or is it just not on your radar? Um, I think I think the thing the thing for me with where it's placed is it's around the middle of our cricket season um, mm. here, so it's not something that that would uh, that would interest me. Um, obviously, these these franchise tournaments are turning up in um, all different times of year, and and the ones that that are more appealing to to us as uh, as as English cricketers is is are the ones in the winter yeah. um so the the major league um as as big as it's 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 likely to get mm-hmm. um is not something that that is is on my radar it's, it's a big it's a big thing though for, especially with the world cup being hosted in america and yeah. uh, the west in the west indies as well and hopefully it is a growing sport in america isn't it it's a hu- uh, well that's the thing it's a huge market out there and i think for cricket to be tapping into america is is obviously going to be going to be great for the global game um and with the world cup being out there as you say um yeah i think i think going forward it, it it's going to turn into a pretty big um uh pretty big tournament and, and likewise I, there's there's so much competition for for franchise tournaments around the world at the moment and i think where it's placed it, it obviously competes with with what we do here uh, through for our summer um but but like equally i think it's going to be great for the global game that, that they have a tournament like that in america talking of the global game um you're obviously a south african born but recently you, you got called up for italy last year how did that come about um it it's it's obviously uh it had been bubbling for a, for a while um i have an italian passport and and that's how i was able to play county cricket in the first place um on my italian passport uh i was there were plans for me to play in 2012 but it didn't quite happen for one reason or another they had some world cup qualifiers then um and i'd be in contact with them they'd be in contact with me and pretty much was was going to happen and then i got made captain here and and things sort of changed um and then over the last couple of years, Gareth Berg's been sort of chatting to me about potentially playing, and and um, there's a there's been a big push from um, the the Italian Cricket Federation to try and qualify for the World Cup, which unfortunately we we, we didn't quite get there. Mm. We were we were a win away from Ireland. I think we were seven runs short against Ireland, um, and had we won that, we would have we probably would have knocked them out and, and qualified ourselves. Um, and then also the, this 50 over um, Challenge League uh, playoff that that. Um, was was financially quite a, a, a big a big event for for um, for the federation. So um, yeah, again, like it's something that that I, playing playing international cricket um, is is obviously huge on anyone's radar. Um, and to be given the opportunity that I have uh, from uh, from the, the the Italians is is obviously a huge honour. I'm sorry if you can hear that uh, <laughs> screaming in the background. <laughs> We're not sure what that is. There's a bit of green <laughs> green screen stuff uh, going on next door. Oh, yeah, I think. yeah, um, but. 
going back on to Italy, what is the following like for cricket in Italy? Because personally, before I didn't know there was an Italian cricket team before I knew you played for them. Yep. So what is the following like and is it a growing sport around Europe? I think um, it is. It's definitely a growing sport. Um, it the, the following, uh, I think it's it's probably larger in the expat community out in out in Italy, but it, there is a, there's still a, a pretty big following and, and the game is starting to grow. Um, and, and that's ultimately what what the ICC want and, and what, what everyone in the, in the game wants. I uh, want it to be a global game and want it to grow. Um, and now with it being Olympic sports as well, there's, mm. there's Olympic funding that, that starts to come in, uh, come in from, a, from an Italian cricket point of view. Um, and and that is, that, that's huge for the game in Italy. And that, this 50 over tournament was really important for us in terms of the funding that uh, the, the Federation received from the ICC. So um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a growing game in the country. Both the men's and the women's game is, is, is really starting to take off in the country. And to be a part of it is, is, is obviously pretty special. You mentioned the women's game. Uh, and Derbyshire is the location where we've had many England women's games here. Um, England, Pakistan will be here in, as well with the, the uh, series with England versus Pakistan in the men's as well. Um, like you said, the women's game is just continuing to grow and grow, isn't it? And it, it must be it must be a proud thing for you to see as well. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It's it's. Uh, I mean, it's obviously a huge um, uh, for the the growth that we've seen over the last sort of 10, 15 years is is pretty special. I've got a couple of daughters as well who who love their cricket, and um, for them to be able to aspire to play. Um, to play cricket one day is 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 really important. So, um, yeah, to see how it's how it's developed and and to see the the superstars that are now being created in the women's game as well and and how globally it's taking off is uh, yeah. I mean, it's only doing doing great for our sport. The question is Wayne. Now, I'm, don't take this the wrong way yep. as well. Um, Jimmy Anderson is one of the greatest England bowlers in the world ever, in my opinion. He's now 41, and people say he, he has his critics where he's like, when will his, his last match be? When will he retire and stuff like that? But in my opinion, he's aged like fine wine. He just gets better and better and better. And in my opinion as well, I think you have got better and better by age as well. You, your numbers across all the formats are just brilliant. So what I want to ask is, what are your, what's, what's your plans going forward for you and Derbyshire personally? Good question. Um, I think for me... Um, Along with what Mickey's Mickey's um, vision and goal is, has been is to win to win a trophy um, with uh, with Derbyshire and it uh, won the second division in 2012. But for me, um, getting a trophy on the on the mantelpiece will be w w is right up there, and, and that that's something that keeps driving me um, with the club and for this team. Um, and then, uh, in terms of uh, what it's going to look like, I, w I want to move into coaching when I finish playing. Um, but the focus now is obviously very much on 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 playing and and uh, and doing my best on the on the field. But that transition onto uh, into the coaching staff, will, I'm sure, will happen over the next few years. Um, we'll see. I, d I don't know. Two, three years down the line, um, then uh, th when the body says it's time to it's it's time to move across and and transition, then then I'll I'll uh, transition into the coaching coaching setup. Then I'll do that. Wayne, thank you very much. Thanks, Luke. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.